one of Qatar's most iconic landmarks. The Museum of Islamic Art, widely known as the Mia, has reopened after more than a year of renovations. Designed by renowned architect Diane Pei, the building itself is considered a work of art. Many of the renovations are subtle, with great efforts made to preserve the original vision for the museum's look. The entrance has been widened and opened up as part of the redesign, but the biggest changes are in the galleries and the way the artifacts are displayed. The Mia's Grand Atrium houses 18 galleries, bringing together thousands of artifacts from across the Islamic world. One of the challenges was making this accessible to a wide audience. To put it this way, we had beautiful objects, they were in beautiful showcases, but there was very little story and context about them. So what we did is, first of all, we uh, introduced a visitor trail, so people follow a trail and have a little story. If you follow it closely, you get an uh, idea about you know, the Islamic world, the culture, the history, the religion. We introduced religion, for example. There was nothing on religion before. One path follows the spread of Islam from the printed word, to artistic creations, to the development of an Islamic community. There's also been a push to appeal to an international audience. One path takes visitors from the Mediterranean, to the Gulf, through to Iran, and beyond. The Indian Ocean and Southeast Asia are also totally new. We never had Southeast Asia in the Indian Ocean, but specifically with the audience here and with so many people from this area and being, you know, Indonesia being one of the biggest Muslim countries in the world, we really thought that should be included. The curators also want to stimulate the senses. There are plans to enhance displays with video, music and even smells. Special exhibitions are being mounted to coincide with the World Cup. One focuses on Baghdad. The Iraqi capital was once the jewel of Arab culture, so it's an appropriate choice as Doha, briefly, becomes the centre of the sports world. Qatar plans to open at least three more major museums by 2030, a push to consolidate its place as one of the cultural capitals of the modern Middle East. Vinton Monahan, Al Jazeera, Doha.